Hey, gang, let's talk about that middle class famous tour, baby. Hachi machi. Getting bigger and better, and it just keeps a rolling on, gang. Uh-huh. It's a live stand up comedy show. Plus, we play a little AYG with the crowd. As I always say, great way to introduce new people to the show. So grab the squad and come out and see us. Yeah, guys, in October, we're going to be in Nashville, and then we're headed up there to Indy. Woo. Then November, we're hitting Atlanta. Two Woo. shows added there. Then we're headed to Charlotte. We got Philly. Two sold-out shows there. I apologize. You snooze, you lose. Then December, we're hitting Providence and Boston. Those are currently sold out, but we're adding new shows. Stay tuned. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Oh, yeah. A little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find out they grow to be classy. Uh-huh. Or if they're just a big old piece of trash. <laughs> I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're down here at Aunt Tootie's basement. I found her sleeping upstairs. Oh, God. In the refrigerator. All right. My co-host is coming at you from across the table. <laughs> He is the CEO of Are You Garbage? He is an international <laughs> businessman. Uh-huh. He's the Prince of Park Avenue, but always the king of the boards, baby. Yeah. Give it up for Mr. Neptune 2005, KJ, Kevin James Ryan. What up, gang? Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, review, you subscribe over there on iTunes. <laughs> Full video available on YouTube. As Free you know, water ice. As you know, those numbers are... Dreadera! <sighs> Cooking. And then obviously... Mm-hmm. Um, Sing it, sister. Oh, Go ahead. Let him know. Google. No, Don't play geez. dumb with me. What is this? The first 48? Patreon.com. God damn it. Yeah. Slash are you garbage. You sign up. Woo! You get bonus content. You get episodes of AYG. You get episodes of fucking hard feelings, which is a completely different thing. You don't even know nothing about unless you're a 10, <sighs> $10 homie. Shout out. And uh, We're doing a lot more uh, behind the scenes action on the Patreon as well. We're bringing new guy Luke out on the road to film everything, a little bit of travel, that whole night, you know, whole nine yard green room stuff, hotel shenanigans, me and you in the gym. Mm-hmm. What's up, dog? AYG 24 7. Uh huh. <laughs> Live streaming every second of our goddamn lives. Uh, and then we also just announced our new goal, uh, the um, storage, storage wards, wards, babies. Which is, it's cooking, it's cooking towards that. Yeah. We're going to be at a fucking public storage. Yep. Get us yep. out there. Yeah, we got to go to an expensive place. I want to start. I want to bid against you. I'm going to lay it all on the line. Oh, me versus you? Yeah. Well, we're spending the same money. That doesn't make sense. At all highball. Just, it. Yeah. 28 grand. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Opening bids, 125. <laughs> they can't hold you to that. What? That fat guy's not going to chase us down the street. You gotta what are they going to do? We don't have the money. Huh? What are you going to do? I know, but then you Kick don't get me out of the storage unit? unit? You don't get the thing then. You don't get the unit. I'll get my socks somewhere um, else. Um,. Uh, some, your, is that what you're expecting to get out of? It? You're expecting to get personal socks. No, I want to find something. I want to find like a like a World War II bullet or something like that. Something cool. Okay, maybe a tank. <laughs> Those old guys, they kept that shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's a replica, full size. Um, somebody said you got to go to an expensive neighborhood where a little bit of cash. Oh yeah. So you get there and that's what people put in like, Oh, my record collection or Oh, my coin collection or Oh, my whatever. Yeah. Nice coin collection would be all right. Yeah. A couple, maybe a couple of Lionel trains. Yeah. We already had people hitting us up that can get rid of it for us too. Like, yeah, I can fuck it. Offense. What do you mean? Offense. What's a offense? Offense is somebody that gets rid of the stuff you stole. Is that a term? Yeah. Offense. I didn't know. How are you going to fence it? Oh, okay, but I didn't know the guy was a fence or the lady. Yeah, the, yeah, they're they're fences. Oh. Somebody that can move some. I thought broken. it was. A, I thought it was only a verb. You're out here fencing fucking stolen goods. No, you find a fence, right? Okay, yeah. all right. I saw yeah. heat. All right, um, got guys waiting on it. So yeah, I'm excited about that. It's gonna be pretty cool, man. That might be the most well received one we've announced too. A lot of people like it. A lot of people like it. People now. are excited. I'm excited too. We gotta get gear. I might get into it. We like, gotta get gear uh, for that too. Sunglasses, hats, headlamps. I'm getting a big old flashlight. We're gonna have to get, we might have to get like a, we're gonna have to run a pickup truck. We might have to get like a dumpster drop, depending on how much fucking trash is in there. Yeah, we are. Also, or we could just search through it if nothing's fucking good. Plus, we gotta we find just some, fucking leave it. We gotta find some Cleveland six to roll around with us. Be real nasty. <laughs> what do you mean? They always got some bird with oh, them. Some scavats. <laughs> yeah. Like, 
bleach blonde hair, yeah, big set it. of cans on yeah. her. Yeah. <laughs> Distract the uh, narrator, yeah, whatever Cheryl he's called. Cheryl or something. <laughs> How about a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire? Speak- I'm sorry, we didn't even introduce him. So, speaking of big cans, give it up for T Bone <laughs> McMuffin, Toby McMullen, everybody. <laughs> What's up, dudes? I, I, I want to complain about this. For, what the fuck is this? What? This, is, this MC Escher what bottle of water you gave me. You, gave me you a, bought the water. You gave me a limp noodle. This thing was melted down in some uh, warehouse somewhere. You bought the waters. You came in with the waters yesterday and today. And it's no name brand. I feel like I'm doing a late night set. <laughs> I'm filming a special. <laughs> Yo, get this guy some Ritalin. What are you doing? You're all over the I map. I know. Here. This guy's nuts. Here, you want mine? We'll switch. Yeah, right. Get out of How here. How much to drink this? Uh, there's not enough money in the world. Okay. All right, 50 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Hey, I got a question for you, fellas. I'm listening, What's T-Bone? that, T-Bone? Is Can there... you have a raise? No. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any sandwich where you find it appropriate to add ketchup? I don't think... You asked me that yesterday. Um, a, bolo- a hot bologna sandwich. You'd put ketchup on it. A breakfast sandwich. Ooh. I, that was the only one I landed on that I think kind of works. Which, can I say this? I'm not crazy about ketchup on my bacon, egg, and cheese. I'm not either. I'm okay with it. It dep- you know. But you know what the French do? The French, we what? were talking about this, too, because you were trying to find a savory pastry in New York City, and I said they got these joints, these Paris baguette joints that are popping up. They dabble in a little bit. The story is where you want to find that because the Greeks do that shit. And you said you wanted sausage, but they do have those ham and cheese in the croissants. Now, those Johns... They do, it's kind of like ketchup. It's like a tomato paste. Those things are banging. Those ham and cheese and a croissant. When's the last time you had one of them? Because it sounds like about two, three days ago, the way, you're, the way you're describing this love affair with the ham and cheese croissant. Piece of ham falls out of my mouth. <laughs> oh, you're talking charges are bogus. And flakes flying everywhere from the croissant. <laughs> oh, they'll kill you. Oh, oh, talk about evidence. It's like coughed. Oh, dude. You get one of those, you get one of those croissants from, 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 uh, Dunkin' Donuts, try to eat it in your car. Woo! Get out, looks like you've been cutting lumber all goddamn day. <laughs> it's hanging up on a wood chipper. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I would see a meatloaf sandwich you put ketchup on. No one's having a meatloaf sandwich. That's insanity. Sure. Yeah, I mean, sure. I am. I like a meatloaf sandwich. You're, you're, Better yeah, you're, liar. you're the, you're the, ex- you're not the, you're not John Q fucking taxpayer, by the way. I think there's a no lot of... No pun intended, but that worked out two you're different an, ways. You're an extreme eater. You pull up to buffets with a wingsuit yeah. on. <laughs> yeah. An you're... extreme eater. <laughs> <laughs> what would you put ketchup on? Uh, home, breakfast potatoes exclusively. That's all you put ketchup on? That's the only thing it's French good fries? For. No, mayonnaise. I just... That's right. Yeah, he's got that European in him. He lived in Belgium for a little while or something like that. Didn't you? Scotland? Yeah, <laughs> different places, but yeah, I lived in Scotland for a little where'd bit. Where'd you pick you up? You know, Scotland, Belgium. Where'd you, Small town. Where'd you pick up the, the mayonnaise trick? I, I read it in a book or something as a kid. <laughs> Man, <laughs> sounds like a real cool kid. Hey, Trogdor, kick rocks, will you? I was wasting my time with Cherry Magazine. <laughs> That's where the rubber really hit the road. Oh, that's that a nudie mag? Oh, yeah, it was. No, I read Next the- level, above Penthouse. I oh, thought Penthouse was wild. Hachi, you get a hold of a cherry, you feel like a fucking... Guy. <sighs> <laughs> I wanted to say OBGYN, but I was trying to think of the right, the correct word for it. What's the correct word for it? Gynecologist. Gynecologist. Gynecologist, thank you. Well, let's run that back real quick. <laughs> I feel like a gynecologist. <laughs> 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 Just post it in. <laughs> I read it. I read that the original way they did the palm frite when they invented the French fry, they did mayonnaise. I was like, "That's weird." I'm gonna try that. And then I was like, "There's no going back." Yeah, it's the, all the, right. It's fine. No, no, it's it's it's, it's better. It's. I'm uh, not it, saying it's it's good. What's, I mean, what's what's the ultimate is the fancy sauce. Is a little bit of ketchup in that. That's the that craziest. That's the best. That's okay. the best of both worlds. Hey, easy does it. You'll get your French fries. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Hey, you back. Hey, you back. Hey, you back. Have seen. Fucking, all right, it's a comedy podcast. I was going to say, I know this is a... Got uh, peanut oil in the brain. <laughs> what the fuck? Shout out to peanut oil. Woo, five guys. That's how they do it. Mm-hmm. I don't like them leaving those sacks of potatoes I around. never got that. Yeah, what, what are we, we in a storage room? Yeah. Fucking the- clean this place up. We're going to have rats. <laughs> I'm just, yeah, I feel like I'm in the hole of a ship I'm trying to enjoy my 12 burgers. Um, what I was going to say was, I know it's frowned upon and it's a trashy thing. However... If you're making a steak at home, 
and no one's around and you have a nice fresh bottle of ketchup that hasn't been in the refrigerator yet, it goes pretty good with a steak. A little dippy. Nah, I, it's not bad, man. I don't I listen, I don't I'm not I, whatever. I, I'm not a big steak guy, but that's like come on. I wouldn't even do that. And I'm a fucking dirtbag eater. I wouldn't do that. That's like that's a slap in the face to the steak a little bit. A little catchy? A little catchy on a steaky? Uh, only on ketchup is for children and breakfast potatoes, and that's the end of the story. I don't know. You don't put ketchup on your eggies? No. That's crazy talk. That's nuts to me. I don't me. do it either. Oh. No, because the egg on is. On some dippies? And then you chop them all up and no, you dip it, your toast it in it there? It takes over because the egg is such a delicate, lightly, fucking fluffy, subtle piece of art. And you're coming in with fucking ketchup. Just ruins it. Hey, Emerald, kick rocks. What are, you, what are you talking about? That's true. I don't know about that. A little, a little, a little bit of taste is nice. You're talking to a guy with an egg tray. Yes, it's true. And also, which I wanted to bring up, T Bone got in my head ever since he bought fucking the uh, Aisha Tyler frying pans. I went and did the same. I went and did the same. He's been in my head. My frying pan sucked. Sure they so did. So I got new gear. What'd you get? I got new. I'm, ro- I'm rolling around with new steel, daddy-o. La croissant? No, I mean, come on. I mean, we got. I got two pots of those. We don't get frying pans. They don't do frying pans. Oh, anymore. they don't? I Their don't air know. fryer's really good. You got an air fryer? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> well, their microwave. <laughs> was that uh, George Foreman <laughs> grill? Um, <coughs> I got T-Falls. T-Fall? If you've seen it, you know it. t That sounds like an antifungal cream. <laughs> <laughs> Put a little tea fowl on it. You'll be all right. No, if you saw this, you know. You know, yeah. Let me get you. But I was, when you were like, oh, I got new uh, whatever, I was like, I had immediately got in my head that my shit sucked, and it did. Because that was the first stuff me and my wife bought years ago. Like, when we first moved in together, and we didn't have, like, I was living with roommates. I didn't have, like, cookware. So we went out and bought, like, uh, okay, cookware. That was Four years ago at this point. Mm-hmm. And I'm not one for like, I'm cutting stuff on it. I, the, sure. I get the, I get the steak knife. I chop up my little chicken pea or whatever, my sauce, whatever I'm doing, I'm doing on the pan. Yeah. I don't want to dirty another plate or I didn't have a cutting board. That Teflon, time. that's no good to get in your body or whatever oh, that man. is. I remember cooking when I was in college, the plate, I had these really shitty pans and the black part was coming off and sticking to the chicken and I was eating it anyway and I remember I called my mom like is this stuff bad for you she's like I'm sending you money you have to get new pants I was eating the finish (laughs) good luck having kids dude (laughs) Jesus Christ your kid's gonna be born with a spatula in his head that's crazy um these these Jones Ah, come on you little shit you little shit box there paid the uh internet bill I did that got shut down (laughs) Yikes. It's got the red circle in the middle, like a T. Nah, I don't go for that shit. <laughs> what do you mean you don't go? I'm not asking you to buy it off me. Euro trip. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Trying to move a set of fuck. But I did get what I think is very classy. I'm trying to up my game. I'm trying to make my shit a little better. I know what you're getting. What? You got one of those pieces of wood that goes in the oven. That what you cook that? salmon on. It's like a hickory piece of wood or something. How much salmon do you think I'm eating? (laughs) I haven't eaten salmon unless it's wild caught in a long fucking time. He's about to tell you he got his first spoon, and you're talking about blocks of salmon wood? I need a new set of silverware. I lose forks. I don't know what happens to the man. Probably in your titties. (laughs) Dude, we have 900 spoons, 900 knives. We have three forks. I don't know where they go. They must get thrown out in like the to-go stuff or something. Because I never use the plastic stuff. Never at the house. No. Yeah, no that's no, the no. worst. Um, no, I got a square frying pan. It's really? great for bacon, dude. It's fan. It's ga- I feel like fucking Emerald. What are you Gossi. cooking SpongeBob? What's going on? <laughs> no, it's great. The circle, unless you got a big John, cuts you off at the, uh, cut to the pass. The, you got the flaps up on the side of the wall. It's good for pancakes, too. Oh, with the fucking square John. It's great. Nothing's better. Than making scrambled eggs in a brand new non-stick frying pan. Oh, you don't even need butter. Oh, dude, it's great. Nothing sticks. I'm I'm like calling my wife and I'm like, look, the pan's clean. I can put it right back in the the cupboard. But you get a couple of slices in there. That's when when you go bad. It starts wearing off, put it too much scrubbing. You're not supposed to. You got to keep a tight ship in a kitchen. You're not supposed to use a metal spatula on that either. No, it came with, I got a whole, I I got the whole set. came with plastic. Ah, plastics. We always burnt them. Yeah, but Those if you do it got right, formed really yeah, quick. Yeah, true. You leave it on the edge or something. Oh, come back. yeah. Wait, 
how how high are the sides? Because those square pans can be shallow, and doing that bacon gets dicey. It's real low. It's real low, but I don't know if you know, I'm currently in a weight loss competition, so I'm only doing two, maybe three pieces of bacon, so the oil ain't an issue. You don't cook all the bacon? You wrap it back up and put it in the fridge? Yeah, I think this describes the 170-pound difference between us. I thought you cook it and you just put it in a Ziploc bag. I didn't know you were allowed to... Can't rewrap that up and put it in the in the fridge. Are you making all your bacon? Hold on, hold on. Use you, you're making all your bacon, right, Doug? You have the most insane relationship with home cooking. That's what. No, people aren't making. I don't. I I don't think it's like hot dogs. You cook the whole pack. You cooked all. No, you're lying about that. You cooked the whole pack, and the, you first put of all, they're already cooked. You don't need to cook. You just gotta heat them if to eat. We've never wrapped. We've never rewrapped up bacon. I Who's we? The Foley's. Well, it'd be one thing if you're cooking for the family. Oh, wait, maybe she has. If you're at home and you're making breakfast in the morning, you're making a whole thing of bacon? Yeah. You got to talk to a nutritionist. On Sunday? On Sunday? <laughs> Six pieces is a lot of bacon for one guy to have. Well, you, that doesn't, that's not a resealable thing. First of all, they do make them resealable, yeah. And also uh, put well, it in a get... Ziploc bag. You said you have Ziploc bag. Hey, you're touching that shit? No, you do it all. And no, then you just you keep don't. it in a Ziploc, and if you want to have it later on, you just microwave it. No, because it. you're going to eat it that day. If you have made bacon in the house, you're eating that fucking bacon. Yeah, you are. All right. Now, yeah. what, now we're, I mean... You know what's a favorite snack It took us mine? two years of talking about your weight loss to find out you make slabs of bacon every day? Yeah, you cook all the bacon. No. Really? If you're making for the group, yeah, if it's like there's four people, five people eating breakfast... Two, two and up. Two people you don't make, no. How many pieces of bacon... Do you eat when uh, you have breakfast? Now, two or three. And my wife might do one or two, if, if, but doubtful. I'm making two or three. Three. I was doing six, whatever would fit in a pan. Yeah. But that's when then everybody started calling me fat, so I pulled that back. <laughs> and now I'm down to two, maybe three. You know what my move was when I was a kid? Well, all right. So, so all right. Hold on. Let's. Man, we're into it. You make. You're just making for yourself, right? Your girl's out of town. I wouldn't make it for myself. I would only make bacon if there was somebody else with me. Okay, so it's okay. It's you and your girl. Yeah. You and your lady. Yeah. You make breakfast. Sunday morning. Whatever day you want. We got up. We have the day off. Walk to the grocery store. I'm not doing bacon during the week, mostly. I did bacon today. You did? We don't have nine to fives. Your call time was 2 p.m. Yeah, but that's a weekend thing. You don't. Then what are you doing during the week? This morning, I made uh, a couple eggies. I had a couple eggies and some fruit salad. And some green beans that were left over from last night. I had them cold. A little bit of balsamic. Just to get some greens in me. And a sheet cake. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what the fuck? Shout out to the sheet cake. Woo! It was Billy and 4C's birthday. I actually wasn't crazy about those. I like the stacks. I like the nice sheeter. What? Um, so you and your girl, you're making the whole thing of bacon. That's 12. That's how much. See how many slices of bacon... Or in a, or in a Let, let's say in a hypothetical here. All right. If I went to the store in the morning, no weight loss challenge, no nothing, no not. You know, 16 slices. 16 slices of bacon. That's a baker's dozen right there. It's more than a baker's dozen. I know you That's idiot. my kind of baker. <laughs> Lumpies. Let's just say go back. Let's go to the pandemic. Okay. No, let's go to the last weekend. We don't. I'm not doing that stuff anymore. We don't do that. There's no bacon in my house. We're not. We're not doing that crap. Okay. You got to suspend a little disbelief. You got to go back when I was on my way up. Now I'm on my way down. When was the last time? Theoretically, check it, the, you're not. Check out the last fat court, everybody. You're gonna sit there and tell me you had bacon in your house in the last three months? No, I've not had bacon in my house in the last three months. I can say that okay. honestly. I've ordered breakfast. Gotta get over there and dust for hoof prints. <laughs> <laughs> Found a snout in my yeah. <laughs> Jesus, bunch of spider webs. You go in. There's a bunch of live. It's a pen. A bunch of live pigs winking around. <laughs> They're pets. It what? was pig belly. What do you want from me? <laughs> Which can kick rocks, by the way. I have what pork be pork belly. That is the dude. You're an idiot. I am not. Have you? <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I wasn't even trying to be funny. <laughs> You don't like. You are fat. You don't like. It's not that nice. Is you it? don't like ramen with pork belly in it. Oh, no. it's like candies. Oh, my, 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 my. so good. I, yeah, no. You can kick rocks. Really, big pork yeah. belly guy. 
Believe it or not. <laughs> no, right, really? 18 pieces a day I do. Listen. <laughs> you gotta four cook. bellies. I did four bellies. You got to cook the whole pig. What are you doing? Listen, if we if if I'm in a pinch in the morning and I don't do my eggs and fruit and fruit salad, we'll order we'll order from uh, and leftovers. We'll order and I'll get like two or three scrambled eggs and some turkey sausage. But there's no bacon. How in many that. pieces of turkey sausage? Whatever comes with it. Three, four, whatever they give you. That's OK. It's all protein. Yeah. Okay. There's no bacon in my house. Okay. You go to my house right now, you're not going to find one, How many okay. one piece of bacon. Okay. I ate them all. Get Butcher Box, baby. Butcher Box, Butcher Woo! Box. Ooh, Butcher, Butcher Box, Butcher Box. Man, we love Butcher Box. I'll tell you that right now, gang. Do you like getting stuff from the grocery store that's all flimsy and mealy and gross? Probably chemicals and hormones in there. Or what? do you like having fresh, top-quality meat delivered to your door that you slide right into the freezer when you're ready to use it? Boom, it's right there for you. I'm talking about wild-caught seafood. Uh I'm talking about grass-fed, grass-finished beef. I'm talking about free-range chicken. I'm talking about amazing, delicious pork. Yeah, guys, humanely raised, no antibiotics, no added hormones. Get what you want delivered right to your doorstep. Free shipping for continental U.S. Oh, yeah. And no surprise fees. Choose from a variety a variety of box plan options from curated to customized. Take and, the guesswork out of it. Yeah, listen, they know what everybody's liking, so they go, oh, Do here, it. here are the heavy hitters. This is what you need. Bada bing, bada boom, right in your butt. Let's the go. The fall, things are getting busy. Let Butcher Box take the guesswork out. Uh, guys, like we've said 10 billion times, I got ground beef, I got chicken, I got steaks coming out the wazoo. You want to come over for a ribeye? Hit the kid up. Yeah. But- Listen, if you're out there and you haven't used Butcher Box yet, you'd be like, oh, I, let me, uh, what are you going to have tonight? Hey, take chicken breasts off your grocery list, dum dum, because Butcher Box is offering our <laughs> listeners an incredible deal that they've never offered before. Guys, write it down free chicken for a year, okay? You get two pounds of free range organic chicken breast for free in every order when you sign up at butcherbox.com and use code AYG. Claim this deal at butcherbox.com slash AYG. Use code AYG. Now do it. Yeah, have cutlets all year. Kid, let's talk about better help, baby. Better help. I do this. I get caught up mm-hmm. on the problem. You know that. I know that. I focus on the problem. Sure. Instead of letting it go and focusing on the solution. solution. That's right. And with a little online therapy, you can start to move your brain from focusing on the problem to focusing on a solution. And let me tell you something. When that happens, it's a really, really good feeling. So do yourself a favor. Get over to better help because they can help. Guys. Uh, I am now a current client of BetterHelp.com. And do you think I used our promo code? Yeah. Bet your bottom ass I did. Uh, guys, I've always been a big proponent of talk therapy. I've said that for for well over a year now. It's helped me in d- difficult positions in my life. And now I need it again to help me through some stuff, daddy You're looking at me. What? Because you're causing it. <laughs> I got couples therapy for me and the big man. Uh, no, shout out to uh, Gary. Gary's my therapist. Not taking his first, not telling you his last name. No. Of course not. Um, by law, I can't. <laughs> um, uh, it's easy peasy. It's fantastic. The rates are fantastic. I, it, it's crazy. It's cheaper than traditional therapy I was paying for to go sit in an office with some bozo. Now I'm online. Beep, 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 getting solved. Solving my problems. I healing. Like it. Healing from within. I can't recommend it more. Uh, guys, so when you want to be a better problem solver, therapy can help get you there. Visit BetterHelp. Dot com slash garbage a day to get 10% off your first month. That's better help. H E L P dot com slash garbage. Do it. Yeah. Join me. Uh, all right. So pandemic when you are making bacon, let's. <laughs> all right. Now we're talking. <laughs> the pandemic is what it's called when he cooks bacon. <laughs> <laughs> the fry pandemic. <laughs> the frying pandemic. Gave myself swine flu. I ate so much bacon. <laughs> Listen, a typical Sunday breakfast would involve go to the store, dozen eggs, Thing of bacon, those Pillsbury uh, Crescent biscuits. What? Yeah. The biscuits? Wow. Slap those in the oven. Some really good, maybe, uh, what's it, Kelly's butter or what's the marigold or? Kerrygold. <clears throat> yeah, that's the real deal. You get that. We get it for, my mom buys it for like Christmas and stuff. Has presents? <laughs> <laughs> Stocking stuffers. <laughs> the kids love it. It's like a half and half for your bar mitzvah. Um. And some nice jelly. Okay. That's the, and a big thing of orange juice, Tropicana, which that has been in my house because I was a little sicky. 
Uh, I'm putting Y's on words. You're 46 years old. What? Sicky, eggy, ketchupy, whatever. Just say the words. Eggies? Oh, little eggies. Listen. Scrambies all allowed. Oh, that's thank just you. fun. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's like a couple of scrambies. Shout out to the scrambies. You like cheese in your scrambies? Not necessarily. I'll really? Some... I'm, I'm watching my calories, man, but typically, yeah. I'm I do... not saying now. Relax, Jack Rolaine. We're talking in perpetuity. That doesn't make any sense. In fantasy. What you would prefer. Is that what you think perpetuity is? Something like that, right? No, it's moving forward. All right. Moving forward, I get all the money in <laughs> perpetuity. No, perpetuity is backwards. No, that's retroactive. Anyway, let's get back to the bacon. Here's That's the all deal. I ask. You start talking about jam and jelly. Here's the deal. Those Tropicanas kind of stink. You don't get a lot in those things. In the in the trop in the big boy Tropicanas, there's not a lot. You get enough for one breakfast, I would say, for two or three people. Yeah, but you're not three people there. Well, like, this is what you do. You, you might keep, have company. You keep moving the goalposts with odd language of like you know. Ah, two, three, four people, you know. Either way, be that as it may, that's the breakfast. And yes, I do the whole thing of uh, uh, Pillsbury rolls and the whole thing of bacon. All right. And then you pick throughout the day, maybe. Yeah, that's not what you should be doing. Um, Sure, I understand that. You asked me what did I do in the past, how I got this way. no, I didn't. I was trying to get to how many pieces of bacon you eat, and you, you fucking... You eight went, pieces you started, of bacon. You started reading your grocery list. Eight pieces of bacon. At, when you sit. Sure, but there's a couple... How many put you... Hold on. You're obviously... You pull them off. You put them on a paper towel, a paper but, plate. Hold on. It doesn't all happen at once. You do. You, you need two or three pans. I, listen, I, I just... Okay, I get it. Stop for a second. You're, as you're making it. I'm picking. Two, three pieces. Sure. Right? There Maybe, you let's go. Let's say one per batch. At least. All right. You got to try the goods. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. One per batch. All right. Okay. So now you say three, but you're three slices in there. Right? Before I even hit the table. Before, <laughs> I mean, the OJ. I'm pre game in. The OJ ain't even poured yet. The eggs aren't even whisked. Oh, up. the OJ's poured. And the eggs are whisked. They're waiting. They're in the batter's box. Whatever. Because um, I got the pan hot. You go. Grease right down the sink. <laughs> That's the next generation's you problem. <laughs> you got you to you gotta, you, you gotta stick something to the Chinese when they take over, huh? Yeah, take my old plumbing, will you? Um, so three there. How many do you sit with? You put, a, you put the eggs on a plate. I don't care about anything else. How many pieces of bacon go on the plate? You keep you try to like romanticize it. This is how I make it. It's how a, many pieces of bacon go on the plate? It, the plate that has the paper towel on it gets I, sat on the middle of the I, table. Oh, you don't even put it on your plate. No, okay. trying to have a nice Sunday and enjoy my day. Watch my highlights. Wait till the football. But you put come on. you'll take some off your first serving. Yeah. How much is that? I love how now you don't remember. You just painted a huge masterpiece of uh, Sunday morning for you. Two, three. You know, you start with that. Two. You're telling me you ate, I you said ate three two, in the three. kitchen. Now two go on. Listen, I'm not saying I don't eat too much bacon. All right. So you're at five there. Even if you took two. Let's say six. Sure. You're at six first course. Um, we're eating the whole thing of bacon. You said you put it away. No, I said we don't put it away. I see. Oh, it, sure. What? No, what are you talking? You you started off with you eat some of it, you put it in a plastic bag, you eat it throughout the day. Now you're going, I eat all the bacon. Can I have a sip of water, please? <laughs> oh my god, it's mad and it's maddening. We don't put it away uncooked. We cook it all. If there's some left over, we'll put the cooked bacon, a couple of pieces that are left over. She doesn't eat all that, obviously. So whatever her share, we'll go back into the refrigerator. But to be honest with you. That's probably not going to make it out of Sunday. That's not getting to work on Monday morning. Sure. That's going to get nibbled on. Mm-hmm. There's going to be there's going to be missing persons out for that. Yes. Come Monday morning. Because fresh cooked cold bacon in the fridge is not is pretty good. In a nice clean little Ziploc bag. Patty does it really nice. Cuz she cuts it in half. Now you brought up the crescent roll. I did. You know what's an unbelievable move with the crescent roll? To make a little breakfast sandwich? No, that's good too. That's not too shabby. You use the crescent rolls to make your own little pigs in a blanket. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I don't do that, though. But, yeah, Ooh. do them homemade style. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, of course, yeah, of course. Yeah. What a hot dog. These aren't the, um, not the crescent rolls, the biscuits, the breakfast biscuits. 
Crescent rolls I would do it with. Yeah, no, I'm saying that we don't get the crescent rolls. We get the breakfast biscuits. This guy's lying all over the, the place. The flaky ones. I just you That's like a it's saying Band-Aid. It's the terminology. The Pillsbury Johns. All right. How do we get on this? I don't know. You said you... Uh, you were cooking bacon. Oh, he bacon. asked me how many ba- slices of bacon I make. I said three. That's good. Yeah. I'm not doing anything like that anymore. Okay. There's no bacon. Turkey sausage, that's it. Turkey bacon I'll do every once in a while. Okay. That stinks, though. I also hate it. Yeah. All right. I'm mm. not doing any of that anymore. You came in overweight at your last way in. So don't try to give it, act like you're on your high horse. That was years ago. I don't do It was 14 days ago. I don't do that no more. Meanwhile, I saw you eating pizza rolls about fucking 72 hours ago. They were a gift. Yeah. You got to eat them all, too. Shout out to the Helium Portland. Portland Helium. Hooking it up. Um, but that being said, mm-hmm. we got a goddamn family episode. Yes, baby. we do, gang. As you know, when you sign up for the old Patreon there, you'll get a question right on the air. Oh, yeah. It's the best way to do it. There's a bit of a backlog, so be patient with us. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's what, the, that's what the suits tell me I have to read. That's our disclaimer. Okay. Boys upstairs. Backlog we're working through. Yeah. All right. This one's just from- Kevin. This one's from Jeremy. <laughs> Are you garbage if you tape a leaf over your expired inspection sticker to avoid tickets while you're parked? <laughs> that's a home fucking that's run. That's genius. Yeah, man. No, that's not trash. A leaf. That's trashy. That uh, This is supposed to be my take on it. I guess it's trashy that you let it last, lapse and you haven't fixed it. But pretty fucking genius that you're taking care of it your own way <laughs> and you're sticking it to the man. Amen to you, Jeremy. I saw a dude... Uh, not that long ago. It was a pickup truck. I can't remember what he did. He did something. Oh, I know what he did. So in New York, you have the lane. Then you have like those little, those cones that you can just knock over. Sure. Yeah. Those things. Yeah, that's like a fucking mall cop. Get out of the fuck out of the way. Yeah. And then you have the bike lane. It was all jammed up getting on the Queensboro Bridge one day. This white uh, Ram truck. Did the move, it pulled around, went through the, the bike lanes. Sure, like the, bike lane in the shoulder type thing. Into the intersection. But you know what he did when he before he did it? <laughs> had a little thing that, that that hit his license plate. Really? Dude, it was really sweet. Whoa. I saw it close, and then when he pulled through, as he was driving away, I saw it <laughs> open back up. Damn, that's like MacGyver shit. That's like Knight Rider that's shit. That's real Knight Rider stuff. I had a buddy do that when Easy Pass came out. A couple of hippy-dippy b- pals I had. Uh, they were going on road trips like mountain climbing, like rock climbing and stuff, like up through like the Appalachian Trail, like up the East Coast, I mm-hmm. guess, you know, up to like fucking Massachusetts or Maine or whatever. Yeah, rock climbing, I know what you're talking about. Um, scaling some rock. Sure. What are you doing, manana? Freehand, I do it. Free solo. Free solo. Uh huh. Plenty of tuna fish. I keep slipping all the bacon, bacon grease on my fingers. Tuna fish and salmon salad. Mm-hmm. I think no, no peanut butter. I know you don't like peanut butter. I know, I know like- you don't like tuna fish. So it was salmon, peanut butter and salmon salad, I think. I think so. Yeah. There we go. Deep cuts on a Seinfeld. Shout out to Dan Cortez. Uh, step off, Foley. Ooh. Step off. Um, Tony. So before they would get to the easy pass, because they didn't want to pay the money, right? Uh-huh. A couple of frugal friends I got. Uh, they would pull over and put a T-shirt over their license plate and then just drive through and make it like a mile, pull over, take it back off. So that way there's nowhere to send the fucking. Really? This was real primitive, too. This was like. Early on in Easy Pass days. Yeah. Save, you know, whatever, 50 bucks or Me something. Me and my boy blew through a toll, Guy? toll booth. Yeah. We blew through a toll booth uh, probably 95, 96 going down to Virginia. Um, we didn't have any money. We just had to fill out some form. Yeah, you say, I'll pay you back later. Never, never. Yeah. never. I lost my wallet, whatever, whatever. I mean, like, I get if you do. That's also old school. If you did lose your wallet. And you're mm-hmm. like, I don't have any fucking cash. I have no credit cards. This is like pre all that sure. pre technology boom. That's what you would do. Yeah, oh, I forgot whatever. And they you write down, they pull up, they write your license plate down and fucking whatever. I don't know. I don't know how they get you. Yeah, are they really pursuing those cases? Mm. Fuck out of here. I don't know. Do you remember the ones you used to have to throw the coins in? They were big, Love right? That. Always got to do that. Wow. If I missed, my dad would freak Man. out. Dude, that was I that there was nothing. That's like trying. That's like being at the free throw line in Game Seven. Dude, that's the fucking, pressure. Uh, two seconds left on the clock, and it's on you. Because it usually meant you were close to your destination. I your dad was dying to get there. I he thought to get he would have killed me. Yeah, oh, like man. I thought it was like that's it. We're leaving you here. 
You you know, you're now part of the toll booth people. I remember them yelling at each other, where's the change? Where's the ones? This I only got a 20. Da, da, da. Mm-hmm. Going back and forth. We Yeah. Shout but, out that easy pass. I remember my uncle was a cop, and they always said no pennies. They wouldn't take pennies, right? The ones on the Atlantic City Expressway in the term, like the ones in Jersey when you go down the shore. He's like, yeah, they don't take pennies. He goes, I know they do. So that was like our big, like, in the know was they would take pennies. It's like it's legal tender. They have to take it. Whatever, uh, I whatever. love that. They just don't want to count them or something like that. When some dirt ball starts Winging talking pennies. about legal tender. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's legal tender. You got to take it. That's like when you say you can't pay with change. Yeah. yeah. Nobody it's legal would, tender. Yeah, nobody, yeah. Constitution no, tells me I can. No one's ever trying to break a $100 bill when they're saying legal tender. <laughs> they're fucking stacking nickels. <laughs> Looking for coins with ridges on the edge. What a dirt ball. <laughs> Uh, Great question. Yeah, my I, I, uh, my dad always used to get a receipt too. Get a, what? Get a receipt at the toll for thirty eight cents. They yeah, it was for work. It was a business write off. Wow. So I they I mean he dro- he drove. Oh yeah, I remember. A lot. I, I remember my dad got out of the navy. He uh, he he started his own little insurance business and then started Slip working. Falls. Started working for Allstate. But he had his own little his own little thing. Running his own shop. Yeah, and dude, his fucking console was filled. Get gas you gas Re- receipts, dude, receipts. To this receipt receipts. Yeah. Fucking It's all in the credit card now. That's why yeah, you use yeah. one card. Boom. There but you go. before it was cash. Yeah. If you're paying like there was no easy pass, so you're paying like a dollar, two dollars, and if you're doing that five times or four times a day. It adds up. That's a big write off. Two hundred days a week, whatever. Yeah. It's a jihad off at the end of the end of the year. There you go. Sitting in your pocket. That's legal tender, too. That is legal tender. I'll tell you that right now. Um All right, let's see. This was from Trogdor the Burninator. Whoa. Shout out. Shout uh, out to him. Ten dollar homie. What's never it have... called? Bad email? Strong bad email. Strong bad email. Uh, never had one read. Is it garbage to store winter clothes in suitcases during the summer? I mean, John, have you have any summer plans? You, you guys don't have any fucking trips to Aruba plan. If you can, that's tough. I get it though. It, it also depends on where. Our last apartment was so fucking small before we moved to this one, like two years ago, maybe. It was so fucking small, we couldn't. My wife couldn't keep sweaters. Right, she has like a bunch. I of... I hate that. That's one of the things that's starting to get to me. I mean, I know I'm older and and you know, been a bit of a loser most of my life. Hey, it's starting to get to me. The shoes underneath the underneath the couch, the fucking stuff. Shoes stuff. under the couch. She has like a shoe organizer under the couch because she doesn't have enough places Ooh, for her shoes. That's a tough law. Yeah, dude. You're using living room it's couch a... as storage. It's underneath the couch. Oh, yeah. you should have kept that one to yourself. Then she pulls it out. It's all of her shoes. Got a lot of shoes though. It's pretty good. <laughs> to work on a bigger apartment there, Dubsy. I think that's hey, what... cut back on the bacon and spring for a three bedroom. <laughs> you got to get out. Yeah, it's crazy. That's like up there with the Beanie Baby organizer on the back of the closet door. That's very similar. We have one of those too. I have one of those hanging in, in the office where all my toiletries are, my shaving kit, my contacts, all that stuff. I keep some the co- office. Yeah, it's on the back of the office. It's where the cat shits, by the way. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> they're not checking any toll receipts in there. That is where the kitty cat makes her dinker dues. I imagine you sitting down with a bunch of Boba Fett's like, gentlemen, we have business to discuss. <laughs> Round table. You're walking behind them all sternly. <laughs> and where were you on the night of... <laughs> Boba Fett, you fired. Um... <laughs> That's my Trump. Yeah, shout out to Boston Trump. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not good with the impressions. What did I try to do not that long ago? I tried to do an Irish accent or something like that and lunched it. It was Jamaican it came out as. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we have, I have one in the closet, one of those hanging Johns. Mm-hmm. I put some clothes, it depends, like just overflow in there, kind of. A couple pair of jeans I don't wear, it slide in there. But we do have a proper uh, dresser. It's, it's just a mess. You know what? On top of it. The Pro- traveling kills me. You know what? Proper stinks. They weren't good in college. And if you have one in your adult life, it's a real tough look. I feel like I might have one. The plastic 
stacks oh, that you pull out. Jesus. No, they fucking stink, man. They're, they're like a house of cards. They'd come falling they down. Stink. Those things suck. It's the, the tops never level. So when you put your deodorant up there, you bump it. Everything falls over. Mm-hmm. I hate all that shit. It yeah. drives me crazy. Kip, let's talk about ladder, baby. L-A-D-D-E-R? Yeah, let's ladder. talk about doing yourself a favor, getting yourself a little term life insurance just in case the worst happens. You want to make sure that your family is protected, that they're taken care of, that things are done properly, and Ladder can help. Three million in coverage, no doctors, no needles. You do it all online. It's easy peasy, and it's a good time. Yeah, guys, listen. Uh, a lot of you listen to the show are bozos, myself included. Big mm-hmm. man, bozos. Bozo. You probably haven't been a stellar husband, wife, son, daughter, whatever. You've j- you've made some mistakes along the way, and this is one way you don't want to. S- Stick your family leaving the bag at the end of the line. Yeah, you know I owe I mean? my parents some college tuition. I can tell you that. <laughs> yes. So this is one way to not screw them over on your on your exit out. You know what I mean? Uh, Ladders customers rate them four point out of five stars on Trustpilot, and they made Forbes Best Life Insurance list of twenty twenty one. Forbes, baby. Forbes, what are we doing? Just need a few minutes of phone, a laptop to apply. Ladder smart algorithms work in real time, so you choose and find out if you're instantly approved. No hidden fees. You're allowed to cancel at any time. You get a full refund if you change your mind within the first 30 days. Damn. That's because they're good peeps over there at Ladder. Ladder policies are insured by insurers with long proven histories of paying claims. They are rated A and A plus by AM's best. I'm not 100% positive what that is, but it seems good because it's a flex. <laughs> Finally, since life insurance costs more as you age, now's the time to cross it off your list. So Make a move. La- go to ladderlife.com slash garbage today to see if you're instantly approved. That's ladder, L-A-D-D-E-R, life.com slash garbage, ladderlife.com slash garbage. Do it. it. Uh, we just got like a nice stand up, what like the real version of that of that. Sure. Like tall. Like she has her drawer. Mm-hmm. I have my drawer. We got like a drawer for the fucking t- hand towels, the hair dryer. It's nice, good. Yeah. Clean, very crisp. Um, you use a hair dryer? Yeah. You, you do. Uh huh. I do. Get a little nervous here. I gotta dry. Uh, I gotta dry the Rogaine, as sexy as it sounds. Really? Because if I put it on, because I, I put it on, and I'm I'm running late typically most days. Or like, I get out of the shower, I gotta put the Rogaine in. It's put the Rogaine in wet. You put it while your hair's wet. Damp? Nah, dry. Yeah, I dry my hair. I like dry and then put it in. You put the Rogaine in after your hair's dry. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then if I'm like chilling, it's whatever, and then I'll just. But if I got to go, I got to fucking dry it. Also gives a little volume, too. A little poof to it. You Toby, would, hit me. <laughs> you, would, you would never use the spray that fills it in. I mean, we could do that as like a Patreon bit or something, but I don't want to do it. Kippy gets hair. I don't want to do it. Because <laughs> for a minute, remember when they were advertising that back in the day? Yeah, I think Bert says he's like, I've never done television without it. That's awesome. He's big on it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good stuff. Just topics or something. It's that really next. fills it in, man. No, I feel like that Throwing guy with a bunch the, of sea monkeys on your head. Yeah, I feel like the magnetic guy that you would draw the beard and eyebrows on and stuff. It just doesn't. I don't think it would look great. Hey, don't walk by the microwave for a couple hours. <laughs> Did you do that on purpose when you were a kid? Put metal in the microwave? No, but you know, I don't know if we have ever talked oh, about 100%. this. Oh, one hundred percent. I great? had to know what happened. Oh no! And we had these nice china dishes. I had to burn my parents' house down. <laughs> Can I say that China? You, does you call China fine China? I think so. Yeah. Okay. I will take that out. <laughs> <laughs> you not being sure. <clears throat> yeah. We used to have these nice plates that had a little bit of silver around them. Sure. And we'd put those in. I, I remember the mom was like, do not put that in the microwave. I did that. As soon on, as she went to work, I was like, let's put that in the microwave. I did that on Thanksgiving by accident. I was like, reheat. That's what we were like. The plates we were eating had that. And mm-hmm. like, I threw it into reheat. And I do remember the popping now. It's really something. You know what was awesome as a kid? We used to do fucking marshmallows in the microwave. <laughs> they would blow up to get like that big. Hell yeah. You put the big, you put like three Jumbo Johns in there. Yeah. Felt like fucking Bill Nye the Science. Wrap one of those in Cobra Commander. Put him in here. He'll tell you what you want to know. You ever uh, throw a CD in there? No. (laughs) You gotta lose some data when the feds are on your trail. Jesus. What are you fucking melting down hard drives? (laughs) Who are you? It's fucking awesome. Fucking Doug McRae over here. (laughs) Deep cut. That's not what he did, but sure. Yeah, they did. They put the. He was a smash and grab guy. They put the The tapes tapes in the microwave. In the break room at the bank. Um, also, too, maybe like two, three weeks ago, I get in the shower and the water stops. Yes. And I'm like, what? I don't like that. 
And I heard like a da 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 da. Now, one of the selling points of the apartment was the water pressure is silkwood level. It's okay. powerful. Mm-hmm. Called a super. I'm like, yo, the water stopped. He's like, give me 10 minutes. They're fixing something downstairs. It has not been the same since. I don't know what they did. That's not good. They probably God put damn a fucking, de Blasio. Yeah, tamped a, it down. I've, I'm going to get a new shower head and make the hole a little bit smaller to build up the pressure. Isn't that what you do? Oh, I don't know. Well, I'm getting a new head anyway. I'm not doing I'll that. Get some head. I'm not doing that. Um, I need a lot of pressure. Who's going to put it on, though? You, you're not a man for that job, are yeah, you? Yeah, I can put it you got on. got the Teflon tape and stuff, sure. though? Sure. Got a little Teflon tape in the house. We'll wrap that up. <laughs> put it in there. I don't believe you. I'm telling you. I got vice grips the whole nine yards. You got vice grips? Monkey wrench, needle nose, whatever you need. <laughs> I'm not going to stand here and be insulted by yeah. it. <laughs> I got all that stuff. Metal saw, hacksaw. <laughs> you don't. Hammer. Yes, I do. There's no way I believe that. Assorted screws, flashlights. I got a uh, uh, stud finder. I got a level. I got all that stuff. A bunch Take- of mismatched screws I'll buy. Yeah. Yeah, I got some mismatch. <laughs> Um, this joint right. could use a touch up too. I'll come in here with the whole kit, and no. do the whole place. Give you a good price too. <laughs> You're charging me. <laughs> Time and a half too. Um, Make sure of, I do it on Thanksgiving. Speaking of the shower, this is from TJ. Uh, is it garbage? Have multiple different scented bars of soap in the shower, so you can pick which smell you want to smell like when you wash your body. That's class. Love that. That's fucking class. Love that. Although I did have a bone to pick. Uh, my wife went to like, uh, cause she makes fun of me cause I use, you know, generic, not generic. I mean like either, a uh, Irish spring guy or a dove, like the bar for like a dollar 50. Can I tell you something? The dove bar is good. It's like milk. Yeah. I've been really thinking about taking a step back and going Irish spring again. Oh, there's nothing better. It than just it, dries you it out does. so bad. You can't do it in the fall, man. It's tough. It gets you. Um, but. So she was like, she went to Lush or whatever. Oh. Know, and she bought, uh, she was there for something else, but ended up buying me like a bar of soap, like one of those blue bars of soap. Looks like cotton candy or Lush, whatever. Bed Bath & Beyond, Sephora, I'm S- all about smells it. Smells fantastic. You I walk in, does. you turn the, you turn it on and it invigorates, like, it like wakes the bar of soap up, like the, really? the water. And so the whole room starts, the whole bathroom. Starts. I mean, it's not like a technology. It's just like whatever's in it. I don't know what you're looking at me like it was space aged. Really? What do you got? Is that the thing run on Ethernet? What's happening? No, like just the smell. Whatever they've used. The soap's very powerful. Yeah. So like when you turn the water on and the, the moisture gets in the air, like you can smell it before you get in. I'm like, I fucking loved it. I love that. It was 15 bucks bar of soap. Yeah. Lasted maybe 10 days. <laughs> it was dis- like. I'm like, I got so mad. I'm like, you sure it wasn't a bath bomb? Am am I a fucking asshole? Sometimes, yeah. I'm in charge of this operation. You think I'm showering using a bath bomb? Maybe. Maybe it was. (laughs) No, it was a bar. And it's like. Literally, like, you would use it. Like, I, They're I, like whoppers. Like, dude, I would do my arm, malt. and it would be like, it would, you could like just watch it get smaller and smaller. I think you second. had a bath bomb. It wasn't a bath bomb. You sure? Dude. Yeah, I'm Was there sure. pumice in it? Pumice? Yeah. Was it the a Mediterranean dip? <laughs> no, there wasn't pumice in it. It was a fucking bar of soap. Okay. Do you not think I know what soap is? I don't is? think you know what you're doing over at Lush. That's what I think. It was soap. Um, but I was fewer. I got out every day. Being, look how small this is. You paid fifteen bucks for this. It lasted five, six days, six, seven days. Uh, there's still a little piece in the corner. I can't bring myself to throw it out. It's still <laughs> sitting next to the shampoo bottle. It's legal tender. <laughs> I could trade that in. For that. It's about seventy cents worth. Where soap. did your soap go when it was done? In the toilet. Ours went right in the toilet. When I don't know. When, the, when it got down to like a little tongue, when it no. looked like a laffy taffy, it got right in the toilet. As a kid, I guess my mom just. Did away with we it. We put it in the toilet. I, re- I really remember shoving some down the drain, too. Get that out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> Someone else's problem. <laughs> I remember doing that. Because we didn't have, like, the, the holes. We had, like, the... You pull up and turn it half. So it was like... Uh, what, the, in your drain? Yeah. They get the bath, the shower. Oh. It was like a, you pull and turn it, and it stopped. Huh. I don't know if I ever... We had a stopper. Whoa. Yeah, the rubber stopper. Did you grow up in the 20s? Yeah, you put that oh, in there. rubber stopper. Yeah. Yikes. Yeah. Dead bodies have been drained in that thing. <laughs> yeah, rubber stopper. 
No, but yeah, you know what I'm talking about. You pull it up and you turn and it stops. But of course. Sometimes I say I stuff. I know the the switch. No, that's old school too. Yeah. No. This whoosh, is whoosh. that never that they would break. So no. you kick you people start using their feet to put the <laughs> too much force will snap that little. You mechanism. know what blew my mind as a kid? The release valve or whatever it was right underneath that. The emergency valve so the toilet so the tub doesn't overflow. I, I think get, it's a clean out. Yeah, the over whatever it is. That little thing where if you if you got it high enough, you hear the <sighs> Yeah. yeah. Oh, I used to love that. I don't think that's an overflow drain. I thought that was to prevent the tub from fil- from overflowing. No, I'm pretty sure no. Cause I think I flooded my place with that. And now the the little that I do know about plumbing. I think that's a clean out. Fat little shit. Filled the yeah. tub up real high and jumped in there like the Kool-Aid man. I remember my, my I, I did. I was, I, it was probably seven or eight. I don't know. I remember my aunt making fun of me. She goes, I know what you do up there. You fill up the tub and you start fucking flopping around like free willy. And I was like, ooh, that one stings. <laughs> she goes in and it goes and starts splashing everywhere. She killed. Free willy. She killed. You fat little <laughs> bastard. Free willy. Oh, yeah. man. When an aunt or uncle made fun of you for being fat when you were a kid, Zing it. those really stung. It didn't sting. <laughs> I always like a good rip. I, I like a good uh, good shellacking. You know what I mean? Free willy. Yeah. Cool. I know what you do. You yeah. get up there and start flopping around. Yeah. Does, does the stopper on your bathroom sink work, or do you have to go underneath and pull the little thing? I got to raise mine up a little bit. Yeah. Doesn't come up quite I think well. mine works. We got a we got a we got a drain problem though on this in this sink. My parents' sink upstairs was clogged for about fifteen years. Really? Oh yeah. No, we didn't have any. We it would we fill up instantly. Yeah, that, we're kind of like that now. It gets bad after like a fucking. You know what works really good? It's in the sixth floor of these old fucking buildings. It's just like you, you know, know what you want to do? What? Go get Drano crystals. Oh, I, ha- I I've done it all, baby. You can only use cold water. That's how strong they are. You hear them popping uh-huh. in there. I've done Woo. it all. They I guess they whoo, they expand. That'll go through bone like butter. Yeah, we do it, but we've, we've we've tried it all, man. It's just tough. This whole fucking plumbing. You got to deal with it in this city. Goddamn, stinks. Goddamn what are you gonna do? For out to the city. country, out to Jersey. Nice house, little picket fence, something nice. Um, all right, this one's from Jose. What up, homies? First time, long time. Is a garbage yeah, to buy pla- a plastic flask with the intent of sneaking it past metal detectors? That's pretty good. They used to sell them. That was my move as a booze bag when I moved to New York. I'm like, well, I can't. Did you have a flask? I have. Somebody one. did. Somebody rolled around with a flask for a little while. I, I, I definitely have. Cotton maybe had a flask? We all kind of did a little bit. Yeah. Like like when we first moved, because it was like it was, we had no money. Daryl Charles, shout out to him, used to roll around with one in the Raven days with... Uh, Pinnacle uh, whipped cream. Yeah, I remember that was him his drink. That. Yeah. yeah. No, but I would do like whiskey or whatever just to get a couple of, you know, because I'm like, I can't spend, I don't have 50 bucks to spend at the bar. Mm-mm. You know what I mean? I'm like, I got, I can wrap my head around spending 30 or 20, do a couple of nips, you know, take the edge off a little bit when no one's looking. I always hated people to pregame, we're pregame, we're pregame. And I always thought that was so stupid, but the idea behind it is so solid and so genius. Why don't you like pregame? Just the whole like, yeah, dude, pregame and man. is that how everybody says pregame in your head? In my head, they do. Yeah, but pregame means fantastic. It is It's part of the fun of the night. It is. It's better it's to better show when the pregame and you don't even go out. You're like, let's just fucking get more booze and fucking hang here. This, this party's cooking. It's better Turn from a pregame to a party. It's better to show up to a dinner, dinner or a bar with a couple in you. Yeah, that's the 100%. whole. One hundred percent. Of course. Yeah. It took me a long time to learn. And that. it's also like, all right, say you're. What do I know? I'm eating all the bacon. I don't know. It's also like if you're going to a fucking party, right? Say, hey, we're having. You know, Toby's having people over, come over at nine o'clock. I don't want to wait till nine o'clock to start boozing. When was this? So <laughs> it was over the weekend. Really? Yeah. We had a little relapse get together. <laughs> Did you really? Yeah, it was sick, dude. I stole a car. What are you talking about? You're joking, right? Yes, yeah, as an example. Oh, okay. He didn't relapse. No, I know he didn't relapse, but he might have had you over. Have you ever been to Toby's new apartment? No. Very upset. I give you rides. I better get first dibs on the invite. Couple of games. You think I'm giving you guys any ammo? What are you nuts? I'm gonna break in. That's technically my apartment somehow. Get in <laughs> on this. Are you the co-signer? No. I didn't need no co-signer. Yeah, kids doing all I right. I may or may not have faked a few employment letters. 
Oh, without question. Cut that. What are you doing? <laughs> that was for previous previous places. Yeah, the guy got the landlord got back to me and was like, I looked up Tony LLC. You guys make desk furniture, right? And I was like, Yeah, we do yeah, a little bit of everything. Know. Norwegian. I've, I've never need. been honest on a fucking resume or an application or anything like that. It was pretty funny. You always juice the numbers. He called he he called me and he's like, Yeah, you know, this was your for your previous apartment or whatever. And I was like, Yeah, man, I'll give you a fucking I'll I'll, I'll give you a fucking letter of what whatever you need. I'll hold a mortgage if you want me to. Yeah. And he's like yeah, but, uh, you know, to qualify by myself, because in New York, you have to make so much money by yourself to qualify. And he's like, Well, it's to- being done by the book. You get a landlord out in the sure. story that plays ball. Sure. He's in Santorini half the year. He don't give a shit. And he was like, yeah, you know, I make just on. I'm like, I'll make fake pay stubs. I'll fucking do. I'm like, I'll Ven- Venmo me money. I'll put it in the books as pa- whatever. We can figure this out. There's no way paperwork's getting in the way of you getting a fucking apartment, buddy. You got a bunch of fake bills in a dryer with some poker yeah, chips. Yeah, like, what are you... Let's go. We'll figure this out, dude. <laughs> Best job I ever had. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, Friday's off. Uh, Good stuff. Um, let's <coughs> see here. Um, all right, this one's from Shower Shotgunner. $10 home. He there you haven't go. had a Q red yet. Have you ever had to light your stove with a grill lighter? I've had to light mine with one for over a year. My uh, stove right now. It clicks. Nothing happens. Gas builds up. I start panicking. That's when you go to the grill lighter. Really? Fuck yeah. My that, one my one thing you doesn't get work. get that checked out. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Man, what? I hope you get a close up on that cam. Really? Well, no, yeah, the, you the pilot's just... lit. I, hey, relax. You should just have a working stove. You're 46 years old. But it's not going to fill up with gas, is it? Maybe. <sighs> <laughs> then the phone rings. And the cat. Boom. <laughs> that was always a foley fear. The cat fear. hits the light. <laughs> Man. The spark. The phone. Yeah. It's in Fight Club, isn't it? I think it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then the phone rings. Yeah. I think about all the fat around the house, too. Yikes. <laughs> Bacon fat. Um, yeah, no, I think you should just have a working stove. Sure. How many burners work? Three, but now two. So two. Well, <laughs> that is the, if that is not the H. Foley spin zone. I can light it. The gas is getting to it. The one, the nozzle just turns oh, forever. Oh, that's not good. Get that checked out. Get a set of vice grips on that. Turn that thing back. You're crazy. So you, your stove only has two burners working right now? Yeah. How are you going to make a whole pack of bacon? <laughs> You're nuts. Uh, all right. Good stuff. Um, I'm not done making fun of you no. about that. So what are you? You almost had me. I'm like, all right, let's whoa, 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 whoa. No, call the landlord. Get a new stove. Get them in there to fix How it. How many burners do you use at a time anyway? I'm not making fucking Sunday dinner where I got four things going. I do one at a time. Maybe two for the water, for the pasta. That's it. No, we'll get three going. You get three going. You, got, you know, yeah, if you're doing some sort of... What are you making, mashed taters? <laughs> we'll do it, Tate. Do really? Uh... <laughs> I've been on a big... You didn't invite me? <laughs> Man, I've been thinking about mashed potatoes lately. Homemade. We'll do a sweet pea mash. You'll do. By hand, a sweet or a uh, sweet potato mash. Ooh, that's mm-hmm. really good. She's good. She's she can throw down. You know what's really good? Uh, uh, I want to say it's calabasa. I think it's like pumpkin, but it's a little bit. Uh, I'm not a fan of the pumpkin squash world. Kick rock. Well, this is this is like pumpkin. story of a girl. This is pumpkin, but it's not as sweet. And this place I used to work at, they used to put garlic in it and make a make a like a pumpkin mash. <sighs> hachi, hachi. It's all right. It's Good all stuff. right. Uh, but we got to wrap it up, gang. Thank you so much. We love you. Gang, we love you. Come see us on the road. Mm-hmm. Check out the Patreon. Patreon. Grab some merch. Subscribe over there on iTunes. Subscribe on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Do Show us a little love. We love you, baby. We love you, and we'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.